Turning us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world. Is our rise news analyst Emmanuel Efeni, the great Malabite. Good morning. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning. Good morning, Rufa. Bless Without you air. You know, I always emphasize it. Yes, you <laughs> emphasize it too. <laughs> Good morning, Tayo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. Well, by the way, the Falcons, they are holding their own. I, yes, told, yeah. I told you, yeah. and you see I'm supporting them. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. They are holding out. Is Osho Aladia now? Not yet. No, not yet. Well, not yet. but it's good. They are holding down Walsh. They are holding down Lauren James. Yes. But they must win. Yes, yes. amen. I've been amen. hearing since the beginning of this program. We almost caught. We almost caught. We almost, caught. <laughs> almost caught is not a good one. Don't worry. We'll let get there. Let we'll get there. put it at the back of the net. Amen. <laughs> Now, we we'll start a review with this day in Nigeria's newspaper of record. We we'll start from the window story above the masthead. Atiku files fresh case in U.S. court seeking release of Tinubu's academic records after withdrawing suit from lower court. Yes, uh, the presidential candidate of the PDP in the February 25 uh, election, Atiku Abubakar, um, uh, has filed a separate case in the U.S. district court for the Northern District of Illinois, United States, against President Bola Ahmed Tinimbu after he withdrew an existing one before a circuit court in Illinois. Following the withdrawal, the court consequently dismissed the suit. Yes, but Frank Schweibel, um, the public communications advisor to a uh, special assistant at Tiku, has uh, said uh, that uh, yesterday uh, that the uh, his reaction yesterday uh, to inquiries that they only withdraw that suit with a view to uh, taking the matter to a higher court uh, because according to him, um, um, Tinubu's academic records from primary to uh, university remain questionable. Hence, uh, the president's failure to identify a single former classmate. Well, to which end the article camp is pursuing this case, I don't know. But that case is still on. Well, the other story on the front page of this, the appeal court, federal government, local government have authority to celebrate contract register marriages. Yes, the court of appeal, Lagos Division, has set aside the judgment of Justice Daniel Osiago of the Federal High Court which restrained the federal government from further registering marriages contracted or celebrated under the Marriage Act CAP M6 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004. We we'll remember that back and forth between uh, the Lagos State Government and the Koei Registry, but the Court of Appeal has said that both the federal government and the local government councils have authority to contract, to celebrate, and to register marriages. Now, the lead story, as ECOWAS ultimatum expires, Tinubu Moore's option meets governors of states bordering Niger. Military action plan ready, says bodies, bodies chiefs of defense staff. Senior security officials criticize Senate for undermining federal government's diplomacy. Regional body quiet as deadline for reinstatement of bosom passes. Foreign affairs experts insist the use of, of force unpopular. Eight leading groups caution against sanctions invasion. Yes, the deadline passed. Of course, the Senate did not give the all clear for President Bola Metinubu uh, to use force. Uh, of course, senior uh, security officials who spoke to this day, according to the report here, yesterday criticized the Senate for undermining Tinubu's diplomacy by not supporting military action in Niger. But the other, the other um, of course, the part, other part of the conversation is that there seemed to be a grand swear of opposition to the use of force in Niger Republic as that in itself will amount to a declaration of war against a neighboring country. Whatever is happening in Niger is still the internal affairs of that country. Yes, 
not to cool, cool in West Africa or anywhere in Africa, but they have been cooled in Mali. They have been cooled in uh, Burkina Faso, Guinea. Nobody used force. Now, ECOWAS heads of state, under the leadership of Nigeria's president, Bola Metinibu, wants to use force to flush out the coup makers in Niger Republic. How easy will that be? Will it be a walkover? Well, remains to be seen. But for now, there seems to be a grand swell of opposition to the use of force. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper reporting that story, Niger coup is adamant as deadline ends. Civilians join security forces for surveillance. Echo was more over next line of action. Niger troops deny Nigerian soldiers access to Bosu. Tight security in, Jub in Jibia, Ilela, Maigatari borders. Tinubu meets Sokoto, Kebi, Kasina, Jigawa, Yobe governors. Now, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, Immigration DSS Army on alert as Niger Nigerian borders, at Niger Nigerian borders. As ECOWAS deadline expires, Tinubu meets with governors of states bordering Niger Republic. Think long, deep over military actions. Osundare tells Tinubu other ECOWAS leaders. Now, the story below the photograph, the front page of the Nigerian Tribune, Do death of doctor in Lagos Hospital. Lagos sacks facility managers, suspend agency general manager, hands over contractors handling installation maintenance of elevator to police. Yes, that sad death of uh, the doctor. Few weeks to um, her completion of housemanship and she just died like that. But uh, the Lagos state government is taking very serious view of the matter. And I hope all those who are culpable will be made to face the law. Now, the Guardian newspaper, Niger Invasion, Nigeria may incur over 2.98 trillion double defense spending yearly if we were to proceed with that action. Because at the end of the day, other um, ECOWAS countries will just be urging Nigeria on. They will not dip their hands into their pocket or even provide the logistics because Nigeria, the big brother, will be there to do all the work. Now, the New Telegraph newspaper, empty prison, fresh indictment against Navy over arrested oil vessel as Tantitia insists intercepted vessel on illegal operation. Change approved destination. Daily Sun newspaper, confusion, pain in hospitals over strike. Patients stranded, frustrated as doctors insist on mass action Wednesday. Well, the threat of no, no work, no pay against the resident doctors seem to be um, expanding the frontiers of this strike as other doctors are planning to join um, the strike by medical doctors, uh, the resident doctors. We hope the government will find a resolution to this uh, crisis so that Nigerians who approach these uh, public hospitals can get treatment. Many will die as a result of this uh, long, prolonged strike. There should be a common ground. Now, the Punch newspaper, foreign airlines repatriate over $4 billion in 15 months. Lagos, London, fares 49% higher than Accra, London, 162% uh, higher than Cotonou, London. Nigerian air project stores, airfares skyrocket over foreign exchange shortage. Are uh, these airlines raping Nigerians? Because the difference, you only need to take a trip to uh, Cotonou or Accra and you get a cheaper fare. Now, the Vanguard newspaper. Manufacturers borrow 1.8 trillion naira to survive in H1 2023. That's the first half of the year. Finance cost rises 411% to 330.9 billion naira. Anal analysts recommend public offers, CPs, 
for manufacturers. Now, the other story on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, Obaseki, Schwabe Field, anxiety, suspense as Edo Assembly sits today. Well, Philip Schwabe has gone to court to procure, uh, to obtain um, an ex parte motion from uh, banning or restricting the House of Assembly from commencing any impeachment procedure against him. Now, Obaseki and Schwabe in a feud. Well, these were close allies not too long ago. Politicians, they have a way of falling out. Schwabe wants to be the next governor, but Obaseki has other ideas. Should that be why both men should, should be fighting as it were this time around? I thought, let them go and face the people, face the party delegates, whoever wins, whether Obaseki's choice or Philip Schwabe. That should not be why a uh, those state uh, should be boiling at this time, hitting the polity as it were in uh, as it were in a uh, state. Now, the Nation newspaper, federal government states open talks on minimum wage review. No plan for 100 percent pay rise. Well, Labour has said they are looking for 200,000 naira as minimum wage. Well, it will be negotiated in a tripartite environment. Organized Labour the federal government as well as the private sector, the organized private sector will be part of that agreement. And it will become law at the end of the day. Now the foreign newspapers quickly, the Times of London, Tory six plan B for Rwanda. If policy fails, migrants could be sent to volcanic island. Yes, uh, as a result of the hiccups in the Rwanda arrangement. Ascension Island, some 4,000 um, uh, kilometers away, miles away from Britain, is where asylum seekers will be sent to. And the hope is that with that kind of arrangement, those who cross the boat into UK will be discouraged uh, from coming to UK. Well, that in itself um, is another angle to it. Now, the Daily Telegraph is reporting bosses who hire illegal migrants face ruin, drastically increased fines aimed to tackle UK's image as being soft on immigration. Now, one newspaper, Nigerian newspaper, again, uh, the Abuja Inquirer, just underneath here, the Abuja Inquirer, anger in Abuja over pack and pay. Scheme insensitive with rising costs, residents are saying, but sanity paramount in the city. Uh, the FCTA is saying, well, they have to find a common ground. Ruben, Rufai, Ayo. Yeah. Number one, the story that you brought up about uh, uh, Waziri Adamawa filing a fresh case yeah. in the US, first at the county circuit level, uh, which was dismissed, and now going because to. Because they withdrew uh, that case. So an upper uh, uh, higher court. court. Okay, the court probably dismissed it, saying that what is the point? <clears throat> I don't know uh, what effect that is supposed to have <laughs> and what myself. the intention of, the of his own lawyers uh, will possibly be. In the case of the presidential election petition tribunal, um, final written addresses have been adopted. Okay? So are they going to file fresh evidence after, you know, the uh, judges, their lordships have said, we are reserving judgment, we will communicate the date of the uh, judgment. Or are they going to reopen the case? Because I really don't understand. And, you know, who is going to admit fresh evidence after the case has already reached that stage in, in, in Nigeria? And it's not as if they are going to the Supreme Court to adduce fresh evidence. So I, I may be confused. I don't know what their strategy is. But in any case, the major issue here is Section 131, which talks about qualification for office. President Tinubu and his lawyers, they've proven that, oh, he has a BSc in business and administration for Chicago State University. It's now for the tribunal to consider that. But if we want to look at that section 131, we should look at it to raise the level of qualification in Nigeria. Because some Nigerians say school certificate or its equivalent is not enough. If I, a stack illiterate can be president of Nigeria. Yes. Go all you need you. to do, all you need to do <laughs> is to uh, uh, attend one seminar in Ajangbadi 
attend another one in Okukumaiko. Then attend one uh, around the Bariga that is very close to the University of Lagos and show evidence. And you can speak English. Ruben, why did you not use Badagru where we have ASCON? <laughs> Because ASCON is moving to high level. No, no. ASCON is the creation of the art. Uh, you, know, so. you, attend, you can attend one seminar there. So maybe we should review that section and say that for you to be president of Nigeria, you must have a PhD. And we insist on that, mm -hmm. you know, to reduce the crowd. Because the Okoko and Ajangbad you mentioned, that is where you have the postgraduate issue for medical <laughs> practice. In any case, it's good the Lagos State government has uh, suspended the head of La Simra, mm -hmm. you know, but it's not enough to just pick one or two scapegoats. What is important is to ensure that the auditing of buildings with, uh, you know, uh, elevators, it, not just in Lagos, everywhere, is done regularly and in a professional manner. And uh, every elevator has a safety guard. Mm. If you don't maintain it, if there is no safety guard, then you will just be killing people up, up, up and down. No, what I think should be done is, I think that lady should not die in vain. I think the family should also sue for negligence. Except penalties for actions and meted out, we would not learn in this country. If they sue and those involved have to pay a hefty fine, I know it's not going to bring the woman back. I think it's going to go a long way for that. Uh, but Dr. Bati, concerning we saying that even that uh, those that should qualify for president, probably they should change a lot of those over BSc or PhD, but we have a country where people buy PhD, they buy BSc, yeah. they buy all those yeah. things. I've seen so, so, many so if you want to, maybe we just pray that we have those that have good heads to come and run us. Because if you want to say BSc, there are a lot of stack no, no, that have BSc. But I think uh, <coughs> okay. secondary school is equivalent. It's too low for a country like Nigeria. Anyway, I know, but, but there are a lot of, you know, this BSc, PhD. We are very educated people. We've got we to have go. the highest yeah. number of educated people in We've America. Got to go. And, We've got to go. and you come to Nigeria. For now, that's what we have in the Constitution. <laughs>